Wow, it's a pleasure to have you here this evening. I never thought of this game as the main source of entertainment for a Friday night. <laughs> well, how many of you are there? Three. Thank you. Three. Let me know if this is the first time on the ride for any of you. Look, it's fantastic. Newcomers are always welcome. Yes, they are. And I'm sure you'll welcome the extra instructions we intend to give you during the game. Player 1, go ahead and type in your name. Thank you. Let's have your name now, Player 2. How gracious of you. Thanks. Player 3, I await the touch of your fingers. Gee, you have beautiful eyes. Player 1, your buzzer is the letter Q. Q as in Quiz Kids. Player 2, you will buzz in by pressing down on the letter B. B as in Bow, Wow, Wow. And last but not least, player 3, you will be using the letter P, as in phallic. Need a Dramamine before the ride? Alright then, have fun! It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture arise! This episode of You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by... Mother's Little Helper keeps you sedate from morning till late. And don't forget Daddy's Little Helper. Tell the kids Mommy and I are just wrestling. And now here's the host delicious as his name, Cookie. Hello and welcome. Now, look, I, I don't have time to schedule an intervention, so maybe that monkey on your back could be put to good use. You know, it could fetch sodas or uh, answer the phone or something. <laughs> Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Here's a bunch for all three of you. Now listen up, and I'm going to tell you why I'm passing these out. The first time a question comes up that you think might be on the difficult side, buzz in immediately and start pounding on the S key. That's S for screws. You're going to be shooting these puppies into the screen, totally annihilating the question and answers. Then you're going to make your opponent answer the question whether they can read any of it or not. So if you're not the one pounding on the S key, you better be trying to read everything fast before it's gone. And that's Flakjack. <laughs> And now, you're about to get the strongest dosage of trivia possible without a prescription. Player 1, hit your buzzer and select a value for the next question. Uh, may I say, zoinks? Here's the category. I'd like to make a pharmaceutical withdrawal. Here we go. At what bank would you most likely make a suppository deposit? Federal Savings and Topical Cream, First Bank of the Painful Injection Net. No, I need a buzzer! Do you hate me? Hit your buzzer, you can do it! No, bad Up to you, Player 3. It melts in your ass, not in your hands. And don't forget, there's a penalty for early withdrawal. Player 3, poke your buzzer and give us a value for this question. Hey, Player 3 has the keyboard. Okay, give it up for... Now I really need a new drug. Okay, hang tight. We're talking about $3,149 here. Here we go. Which of these... Take a shot, Player 2. Mm, that would be incorrect. Have we learned a lesson here about buzzing in too quick? Good. Player one! It's all about you, babe. Uh, wait, you're not babe. <laughs> Player three, it's yours if you want it. Player three, make it happen. It is true that Advil contains sodium, and it is true that the FDA still deems it salt-free. So there you go. <laughs> Does your head hurt? Advil ain't kosher. So for those of you planning to serve up a big bowl for the next Jewish holiday, maybe you should order out. Okay, player one, pick a winner. The category is... I'm too cheap and horny to go to the drugstore. You know, nowadays condoms are a real necessity, but damn they can be expensive. 
If you decide to save a few bucks and make your own condoms out of natural latex, what will you need to ask of your pharmacist? May I have a bag of cold chum? Player three, do it! There you go, Billy. Hey, what are you gonna make with that plant juice? Some kind of fountain of youth? <laughs> well, uh, uh, you're not too far off there, Mr. Olson. See ya! Latex is a naturally occurring milky juice that comes out of plants and trees. If you buy them dinner first. It's up to you, Player 3. Hit your... I'm Dilly Winkle Doodle Snorfin. Oh, wait a minute. Is this one of the, uh... Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, your real gibberish category is... Daddy's Secret Wardrobe. Here's how this works. You're gonna get a phrase that sounds like gibberish. Your job is to hit your buzzer and type in what it rhymes with. Now bear in mind, the more time you take, the less cash you get. All right, tell me what phrase this rhymes with. Hey, pause lousy dress. And ignore the punctuation. First clue, it's often on a warning label. It's often on... Show us how it's done, Player 3. May cause drowsiness. Yeah, that cold medicine I'm taking says that on the box, but so far it's had no effect. Three, what's this one worth? Hey, can't be too disappointed with that. Here's your category. I have no parents, and I'm short. Let's get going. Which of the following would you expect to see in a sitcom's very special episode about orphan drugs? Arnold Jackson becoming a giant Webster on a spiritual journey? Player one. Player one, who's getting screwed? Hey, bonehead, you just screwed yourself there. What are you, checking to see if the SP works? Well, it does. Two, huh? All right. Oh, that's not good. Player two, player three, the time is now. Player two. Player three, don't take that. Give us an answer. So you want four. Okay. No, but I've seen this episode. The part where Mr. French administers the vapo rub is especially touching. <laughs> Make your buzz in, buzz in! No, I said buzz in! For the love of God, buzz in! Hey, genius, I said buzz in! The correct answer is... Drugs that can cure rare diseases are known as orphan drugs because they're unprofitable for pharmaceutical companies to develop. Just like it's unprofitable for child actors to develop during a sitcom's run. Player one, it's up to you. Snag a question, value four. Oh yeah, now we're talking, and here's what we're talking about. I like my drugs in a hurry. Okay, imagine this. It's a nice spring day and you're doing a cool 75 on the freeway with your top down. Well, I mean, your car's top down. When the cops pull you over and discover 8 pounds of illegal codeine in your back seat, what sound can you make to convince them you have a legitimate reason for having it? Is it sound one, sound two, sound three, or sound four? Once again, that's sound one, sound two, sound three. Player three, make it happen. Codeine is a cough suppressant. And I sure hope you've got a prescription for that open 40 ounce of malt liquor between your legs. Okay, player three, hit your... Coming up. You need drugs to live in South Dakota. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. If you consume the complimentary elixir that made South Dakota's wall drug famous, from what do you most likely suffer? <laughs> Three, who do you want? You're screwed, player one. Give me an answer. One, two, three, hop. Let's see it. How do you say, um, no? Player two, it's you. The tiny husband and wife pharmacy in Wall, South Dakota started putting signs on the highway advertising free ice water. And the rest is American and marketing history. I tried something similar growing up, but people in my neighborhood just got annoyed when I sprayed them with the hose. 
arcade player too. What's this one gonna be worth? Could I interest you in some roadkill? Okay, let me explain how this game works. You're gonna see different fairs that are somehow related. And you're gonna get a bunch of items that may or may not connect the fair. Plus, and if you think an item correctly joins the fair. There's a thousand bucks in it for you if you're right, but beware, you lose a thousand every time you're wrong. And at the end, there's gonna be a bonus question worth some bonus cash. Uh, let's just say you should pay close attention to all the correct answers. Is that clear? Good, let's hit it. Sweater plus ball in female contraceptive. What do these two things have in common? Sixth of an ounce and used to stir liptids. Score. Discontinues and pearl plank tooth polish. Pacific and Plain Supermarket brand. Score. Middle Eastern dried fruit in romantic engagement. Ten Commandments medium and notepad. Alter and the D in PhD. Score. All right, let's go for the bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Aren't they all fights of measurements? Boat shapes. Biblical terminology. No relation whatsoever. Top medicine. Well Your score. Now let's get back to the game. Player three is in front. Well, let's see if you can keep it up. Player two, Hitman. This one's called RX's and O's. And now the question. If the Dallas Cowboys change their name to the Drugstore Cowboys, what should fans expect to see? Quarterbacks busting shoplifters, linebackers doing lasso demonstrations, running backs robbing pharmacies, or defensive backs acting like rodeo clowns? All yours? Oh boy, shouldn't have done that. Player, player two, grab. He's at aisle 15, aisle 10, aisle 5. He's only got the security guard left. And he's through the doorway. It's a burglary. In the movie Drugstore Cowboy, Matt Dillon and his rowdy friends rob drugstore after drugstore. All right, player two, buzz in. Give us a... Your category is... What to take if you're depressed about your wart. So, have you heard of the over-the-counter herbal remedy, St. John's Wart? Well, if your local pharmacy runs out of St. John's Wart and you decide instead to swallow an actual wart from St. John's finger, whose wart will you have to track down? Pope John the First, John the Baptist, John King of England's, or John of Salisbury's? <laughs> Nobody's taking it. I think player three should try. Hey, hey, what do you say, audience? Don't be a whip! Player three, do it! <laughs> well, what do we have here? St. John's wart is named after St. John the Baptist because it blooms on his birthday, June 24th. Isn't he lucky? Well, it's better than having a boil pop up on your ass every time it's your birthday. Player one, buzz in and choose a value. 
Hey, you can live on that. Here's your category. Scabs unite for world peace. Hey, remember back in the mid-80s when those all-star rockers got together and formed that group Band-Aid to end world hunger? Well... If the stage had collapsed during the recording of Band-Aid's Do They Know It's Christmas, which of the following artists would not be affixing a Band-Aid to his skin knee? Boy George, Bruce Springsteen, Phil Collins, or Sting? Take a shot, player two. No, Boy George will tumble for you. Later, up to you, player three. The boss wasn't in Band-Aid, he was in USA for Africa. But his knees are probably all skinned up anyway, you know, from all that dancing in the dark. Player three, it's all on your shoulders. Buzz in and give us a value. All right, that's all right. Okay, here's your category. Take this question and call me in the morning. So I go to my doctor's office the other day complaining about chest pains. He sticks a finger up my butt and gives me this prescription. Take a close look. One tablet Loestrin BID, two Prozac with milk TID, 20 Viagra in D, three Wigrain QID. Which of these will I be taking the most often? Viagra, Wigrain, Prozac, or Loestrin? Player one, hit it! Uh, if I took 20 Viagra tablets every day, I sure as hell wouldn't be sitting here hosting this game, I'll tell ya. <laughs> Player two, it's you! When you get a prescription, QID means four times a day. Oh, and by the way, Wigrain is for migraine headaches. It comes in a suppository. Guess I really do have my head up my ass. Player 2, what's this one gonna be worth? Hit your buzzer and tell us. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. Each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing. Not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Medicine, man. And do not forget, the match has to fit the clue. Alright, here we go. Player one, do yourself a favor, don't even look at the screen. Tonight on the Nature Channel, don't miss part two of the critically acclaimed documentary, Ducks. Part 2 of Ducks, tonight at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, only on the Nature Channel. Next week on Round and Round and Round and Round and Round Table, Drs. Alan Germ and Gerald Meatbottom discuss the controversial new sleep-inducing therapy for insomnia sufferers, getting up and getting a glass of water. But so much is unknown about the effects of getting up and getting a glass of water. There are dangers of spillage, broken glass, water supply, I mean, 
What do they do with the water once they have it? Well, we advise they drink it, although we found that handing it to a family member has produced some positive results. Watch as our panelists discuss this controversial new sleep aid and similar therapies. Some of your more irresponsible colleagues are now prescribing other more radical treatments like sitting up and having a ham sandwich or even running around with a plate of jello. Well, we certainly wouldn't support that kind of behavior because of the risks involved, especially to children. Tune in for Get Up and Get Yourself a Glass of Danger, Saturday on Round and Round and Round and Round and Round Table. Tonight, on Investigative Coffee. Until recently, this sleepy Ohio town was primarily known as a test market for Olestra products. Now, religious fanatics are making a pilgrimage here to witness the miraculous weeping anus. I, I was just watching TV, and I felt a, a rumbling in my gut. I tried to make it